What's up, everybody? This is Danny and Holly with HD Baby Reviews, and today we're going to be looking at the Four Moms Mamaru. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to unbox it, assemble it, and give you a full demo of what this thing can do. I am a huge technology fan and I run my own YouTube channel. I am a tech reviewer and I love looking at the newest mobile technology. But when I found out I was going to be a father, this company, Four Moms, was the first company that really drew my attention. When I first saw their origami stroller and eventually I ended up seeing the Mamaru in a Toys R Us, I couldn't believe how they were integrating technology into the baby market. So naturally, I wanted one of their most popular products to be our first video. The Mamaru is available for $219 for the non-plush model, but for $249, you can actually get the plush model. It's just a little bit more money and I think that it'd probably make a more comfortable seat for the baby. We actually picked ours up at Toys R Us. However, they are available on the Four Moms website and also at Amazon. So let's go ahead and open up this box and see what comes inside. When you first open up the box, you will see a sticker with all of their customer service information, such as their website and a telephone number if you need to reach them. This is a pretty big box, by the way. It's pretty heavy too, and there's a lot of parts inside. It looks really intimidating, but trust me, it's really not that hard to put together. We're gonna show you how to do that later on in this video. There is a product registration card right there and lots of different bars and everything, and you may think, wow, I don't know if I can put this together or not, but trust me, it's actually pretty simple. And it comes with some colorful plush toys here that we're gonna actually put in this little arm right here. The next thing we're gonna take out of the box is this plush seat. And remember we talked about this before, the 249 version is the plush model. And for 219, you actually get more of a nylon material. They are both fully machine washable though. We saw both of them in the store and we actually prefer the softer plush model. In this package is the AC power adapter that you have to plug into the wall because this thing does not run on batteries. There is an auxiliary cord right there so you can plug your smartphone into it to play your own MP3s if you want. There's a clip there and also there is a book if you need it. We're going to show you how to do this in the video but there is a overview of how to put this thing together and some warranty information. Only thing left is the base so we'll take that out of the box and remove the cardboard and we're going to be ready to put this thing together. There are all the parts laid out and my super prego wife is going to show you exactly how to assemble this. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is undo the lock. You're going to insert the larger curved bar into the base until it stops. And then there's going to be an end piece that's going to lock in place and you'll hear it lock with a click. Here's a little tip for you. The side bars are actually labeled as well as the clips, so if you follow those labels, you'll be able to get it right the first time, unlike I did. Before inserting the side arms, make sure you lock it to hold it in place. Match the letters up with the clips, and they'll pop in, and again, they will both click once they're inserted correctly. The next thing you're gonna grab is the seat. We're gonna go ahead and attach it with the zippers. And you're gonna pull it down one side and repeat on the other side. Then you're gonna secure the seat with the buttons, top and bottom. They can be a little bit tricky, but as long as you play around with them a little bit, you'll, you'll get them. Underneath the seat, you'll find two of the safety straps. You're gonna thread them both through the holes provided. Once they're through the holes, you can adjust them according to your baby's size. Make sure the child has a snug and secure fit while enjoying the Mamaru. Now, Four Moms does recommend the maximum weight of the child should not exceed 25 pounds. And here are the three plush toys that came in the box earlier. You're gonna go ahead and insert them into the swivel arm and you're gonna insert the swivel arm into the Mamaru. You're gonna do it backwards and swivel it around. I made that mistake a couple of times. I'm not a huge fan of the labels that hang down, so we're gonna be cutting those off as soon as this video is done. The Mamaru does not come with an electronic tilt feature, it's actually a manual tilt. And the way you do this is by undoing the lock mechanism and you slide it to whatever position that you need it in. Now that was not too hard to put together. Even me at nine months pregnant, I was able to get it done in about five minutes. 
Now that we got this thing together, all you have to do is take the base and make sure you put the base on a secure place like a floor. And you're gonna have to take the AC adapter and plug it into the back of the Mamaru and then just self-explanatory, plug it right into the wall and we're ready to go. The Mamaru is actually very easy to operate. There's a big power button there that turns on the backlit display so you can see it at night. And there are up and down buttons here that actually control the intensity of the motion, which I'll show you later. And on the opposite side, the up and down buttons actually navigate the menu, which you can go in between different types of rocking motions. The play button next to it starts the actual motion. And then if you hit it again, it stops the rocking motion. Very simple. The base also contains two speakers, one on each side. And this is gonna be able to play your own MP3s or there are some preset sounds on here that we're gonna show you in just a second. I'm betting that many of you are gonna be just like us and not listen to these preset sounds. So you're able to plug in your iPhone or your Android device to play whatever MP3s that you might like or whatever the baby likes. If you want to listen to the preset sounds, then that left click wheel is where you're gonna be able to change to the different sounds that are on there. I'm gonna let you listen to a few of them. They're supposed to be soothing, so I'm gonna go ahead and try these out when the baby's born, and I will let you know what actually soothes the baby better. This or some regular music. The speaker quality, they're not the best. I mean, they're not gonna bring the house down or anything, but they definitely do their job, and you can adjust the volume with the right click wheel. I'm betting since my wife's playlist is gonna be on here a lot, the baby's probably going to be listening to a lot of One Direction, and thank God for that mute button. This is what the Mamaru looks like when it's in action. When you turn it on, hit that play button, the very first intensity is actually very soft and very gentle, but you can actually increase that intensity with every notch. And when it gets to the very top, it's pretty fast actually. It's faster than I thought it would be, and it does increase in noise with the intensity of the rock and that just makes sense but it's not as loud as what i thought it would be for a lot of people said it was extremely loud and i didn't think it was that loud but it's definitely noticeable the base while it's glossy and it's plasticky it feels very solid on a flat surface and there was no rock in the base whatsoever it's very sturdy and the mechanism actually feels very smooth as well. There's no grinding when it's moving at all, and the build quality seems very sturdy. So I don't think you will be disappointed at all in the build of the Mamaru. If you look at the mechanics closely on the Mamaru, it is meant to bounce up and down and sway side to side, just like what parents would naturally do when they comfort their babies. You can choose between five different simulated motions, including car ride, kangaroo, tree swing, rockabye, and ocean wave very simple and also very cool. So I can't wait to try this thing because right now I can just see it swinging back and forth, but I'm not sure exactly how my baby's gonna react to this. So I can't wait to see that for the first time. And also Four Moms offers a reversible newborn insert and six different fabric seats. So I will let you know if we buy any of those. So whenever this baby decides to pop out, then we will definitely give the Mamaru a try and we will let you know with the follow-up in the full review. So what do you all think of the Mamaru? Is it the holy grail item that every parent should have for their newborn? I guess we'll find out in a few weeks, but if you want to leave a comment below with any good or bad experiences that you've had with the Mamaru's, we'd love to read them. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this content, and if you did, then feel free to hit that thumbs up button for there will be a lot more content like this, and we just thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one.